welcoming you all for the attendance or like the STM session. Like as you know, uh, I will be going to walk you through about the Microsoft Intune, a uh, new feature improvement and the development which was been uh, for this month. So basically, uh, as most of you already aware about like uh, Microsoft Intune is keep releasing the update or new improvement on each and every month. So that that basically been uh, contain like uh, various uh, bug fixes, functional improvement and based on the collective feedback, they are trying to improve the feature. So we will be going to just uh, quickly look into it. What are the new exciting feature and the update comes up for this month? Yeah, somehow let me oh just a moment. I think my screen got stuck. Yeah. So yeah, so this is the most like uh, exciting or the interesting feature for uh, this month, like uh, multi admin approval for the remote action. As as you might be familiar earlier, like uh, there were the multi admin approval uh, workflow were introduced for the apps script and the uh, I mean all those uh, things just to allow like extra layer approval. So you will be as an admin or like uh, as an organization, you will be have the better control like uh, and you can able to add your like uh, second administrator account that will be going to used as a approve a change before that will be going to be implemented. So many cases uh, we have seen like uh, if someone is triggering like uh, remote action ability could be the wipe, retire and delete that is accidentally causing an issue and unnecessary stress for the like uh, IT management. So just like uh, with this new feature, you will be able to better control the remote action ab ability. So you can able to uh, set it with the help of the access policy. Like you can see in the screenshot, which has been uh, added here, that is part of the policy. So basically this policy you can able to configure while configuring the multi admin approval. So as a like part, you can able to add the person who will be have the authority to approve the second layer. So once any any user or the person who have the ability to uh, wipe, retire, delete the devices, they can just uh, trigger that action. And as an administrator, you can review and approve their access. So this is the most like uh, I mean, in terms of the security aspect and overall like inside, this is the much more, I mean, exciting feature. And this is all about like uh, Android, iOS and uh, Mac OS device inventory. So device hardware inventory were introduced, a, I mean, a couple of months back around maybe the last year. So that was for like uh, providing you the much more the real insights about the detailed uh, inventory information about the windows and right now it has been extending to the like other os platform as well like you can see like uh, uh, this has been uh, added including the 74 apple uh, properties and the 32 android properties so you will be have more control or the more information about the apple and the android devices with the latest release or the latest in uh, inventory. So in case you haven't like uh, enabled this uh, uh, functionality, you can simply configure like uh, with the help of the configuration profile and uh, just uh, target to all those uh, devices and uh, you can you can be able to like uh, use with the ability of the resource explorer. And this is all about like uh, the device query for the multiple devices as Susan were already presented uh, more insight how exactly the query works and uh, the multiple device were also introduced uh, like a couple of months back just to enhance it and uh, which is now been added or extended to the Apple inventory data. So like in the short, you can see like uh, device querying is being uh, uh, populating for, as well as for the Apple device status and the updated status and couple of other properties. So you just need to look into it, uh, the article like uh, the official article as well as we have uh, STMD also covered it so you can look into the what are the properties the device are supported based on that you can able to uh, get all those insights from the uh, device query and uh, yeah this is all about like uh, what are the new things comes up with in terms of the device enrollment and the security so uh, now you can have the ability uh, to custom uh, and uh, I mean provide the name for any of the AOSP devices. So in case if you are using any like Android open source devices, you can uh, able to provide the custom name uh, with your own. So this has been now introduced and enhanced with this 
uh, latest release update and the next was with the device routed uh, for the corporate owned uh, enterprise profile so is it been supported for the personal owned work profile as well as the corporate and the dedicated work profile so you can be able to configure the compliance setting by by navigating to the uh, device health section and by default it is set to the not configured so once you will be going to be set it as a block you will be able to like uh, block all those uh, rooted devices in your environment so this is a uh, mode i mean uh, uh, interesting and the best for the organization in terms of the security aspect and all the pointer view so you won't be going to allow uh, this uh, rooted devices in your environment and that will be going to be uh, marked uh, once you will be going to set as a uh, non-compliant with the block ability it will be going to be marked as non-compliant automatically and the another addition and uh, the enhancement i would say that was been related to the uh, rbac access so earlier like uh, device enrollment limits and uh, all those functionality you can able to uh, edit or create with the help of the RBAC access. So now, now you would, must need to be have like a admin uh, role to create and edit this policy. So earlier it was been mapped with the uh, profile and policy manager as well as the uh, device configuration policy that was where the uh, built-in role as part of the RBAC control. So this is uh, what this has been changed for this month update. Yeah. So next coming to that like uh, remote help ability for the Android devices. So this is what like uh, was been released a long time back. So now just as part of the improvement, uh, they have uh, the Microsoft Intune have enhanced some of the uh, like uh, capability in terms of the selecting unattended Android devices. So what exactly mean the unattended control? That means you will be have the full control of the devices without the presence of the end user. So uh, with this enhancement, like uh, the, uh, is it been blocking the screen of the devices and user will be uh, going to notify once you will be going to interact as an admin or you will be going to uh, take the control of that uh, devices and uh, this feature has been only limited to the like uh, manufacturer like Jevra and the Samsung devices that are being enrolled for the corporate on dedicated devices. Yeah, coming to the next, uh, this is all about the Linux server. So if you are a uh, Linux admin, I, I don't think you most of you will be. But uh, if you are already managing the Linux uh, devices in your environment, then you can be able to uh, like uh, configure the extra endpoint security policy, uh, which will be going to enhance in terms of the uh, global exclusion and although like uh, endpoint detection. So now you can be able to configure with this like uh, extra addition uh, with uh, with respect to the existing endpoint security policy uh, for anti microsoft defender anti uh, virus and uh, this uh, support setting is related to the global exclusion as like uh, uh, because uh, this has been like uh, can be applied in the both antivirus and the edr which was been uh, endpoint uh, defender engine on the Linux devices uh, just to stop like uh, real uh, time production and the alerts for the excluded item. So you can be able to configure and as well as the in the coming months, uh, there would be like uh, another update is coming with respect to the uh, enhancement or the security point of view. So Microsoft will be going to uh, Intune will be going to only support the uh, one two devices that are been on the 22. Uh, 0 04 or the higher version. So once it will be going to be introduced, uh, the new devices which you will be going to enroll, uh, that must be upgraded to that particular supported version. So what will be going to happen on the existing devices that will be going to be uh, remain untouched even though like uh, that version is no longer supported. But the recommend recommendation would be to uh, plan for the upgrade just to ensure the security and the, all those functionality remain frame. Okay, so this is all about the new feature uh, which has been on the currently on the development phase which is not yet developed and uh, might be interesting for you like the customization of the application uh, installation with the enterprise application management. So in case you have already explored the enterprise uh, 
application management you will be able to now customize like uh, with the help of the some scripting capabilities and all those uh, criteria once this feature will be going to introduced and the another another part would be like uh, the web socket support for the tunnels like that uh, that is basically for like uh, real time communication and the uh, security for the apps so which is being using this uh, web socket so this will be going to be uh, added in the upcoming release and the next next is uh, like uh, as part of the intune suit uh, you will be going to be have the operational da dashboard that will be going to provide the epm which is the endpoint uh, privilege management insights on like uh, maybe the elevation action or the suggestion for the new role for creating like uh, you might already know maybe uh, there was like a couple of uh, other insights were introduced earlier with respect to the intune configuration profile just to provide you much more recommendation about this uh, uh, configuration profile policy or the setting catalog policy how exactly it is being used or how effective these are so uh, just to add on that part this is be uh, going to be uh, good uh, yeah so this is the next like uh, recently uh, microsoft uh, like uh, announced uh, windows backup for organization which is currently on the uh, public preview but it is limited it has not been like uh, uh, globally like announced uh, or like that you will have like uh, much more flexibility but uh, this is you can you can enhance for your organization in case you wanted to take the support from uh, moving windows 10 to windows 11 as uh, you may not may know like uh, windows 10 will be going to uh, end of life in the upcoming like uh, october uh, 2025 so just to enhance or just to provide you the better uh, support uh, you can use this uh, functionality and these are the like uh, uh, prerequisites or like the criteria you must need to have to uh, submit the request so how you can able to submit the request you can simply have this uh, there is a, a forum uh, where you need to specify the several details about about your name and details as well as the uh, microsoft uh, in tune test tenant so this is for one of the must like uh, required for this preview so once you have all those uh, details you can just uh, go to the sites and simply uh, like uh, submit your request so once your uh, request will be going to review by the team uh, they will be going to connect with you and provide the support uh, for the organization so this maybe you can explore or like uh, you can i mean you can leverage it and this is just a, like a heads up for this uh, upcoming month like uh, security update microsoft intune connector for active directory which will be going to be uh, end of life or not being supported uh, by uh, starting by july 1st so if you are still leveraging the hybrid uh, joint devices and using the uh, uh, intune connector for active directory you must need to ensure like uh, your connector is upgraded to have all those like uh, smooth onboarding of the devices without any interference so you must need to communicate with your security team or the, your active directory team just to like uh, uh, provide them insights like uh, about uh, these changes and uh, what are the uh, what are the like uh, criteria they have been uh, set it for this just to ensure like uh, uh, you have the upgraded supported version is in place in your environment yeah so that is all about for today thank you all